Hey guys, Dan here from Prepped and Polished. Welcome back. So a lot of students, when they see function notation, f of x, g of x, something like that on the SAT, they tend to freak out, skip over the question. But we're going to show you today why you shouldn't skip those questions because ultimately they're pretty easy once you get past the notation. And we're going to teach you how to understand all that today. So a lot of people are going to freak out when they see our notation here, something like f of x. Okay. Anytime you see f of x, all we're saying is what is the value of this function when we plug in whatever number is in here in parentheses. So, if we get to our question here, our question says a function f satisfies where f of 2 equals 3 and f of 3 equals 5, and a function g satisfies g of 3 equals 2 and g of 5 equals 6, and we want to know what is f of g of 3. So, let's start here with what we're looking for, and let's just start with our middle piece here. What's inside here? g of 3. Now, we know without even doing any math from our problem, that g of 3 is equal to 2. So, we can substitute in a 2 for g of 3, and that makes what we're looking for now is going to look like f of, plug in our 2, f of 2 equals what? And then again, no math involved, we're just going to go straight back to our problem here. We know that f of 2 is equal to 3, right there. So, if f of 2 equals 3, you can circle three and you're done. So just because you see all these letters, numbers, all that stuff, don't freak out. The problem is very simple as you can see, really no math involved. All right guys, so whenever you see functions on the SAT, don't freak out. Remember, it's probably even easier than it looks and a lot of times you don't even have to do any math. So if you guys have any other further questions or you need some test prep, head over to preppedandpolished.com. Otherwise, good luck on your test.